HBO's Sharp Objects is a limited series featuring Amy Adams as Camille, an alcoholic journalist who returns to the source of her trauma, her small southern hometown, to investigate the murder of a little girl. But as the bodies pile up, Camille must relive her fractured past. Wow, I binged through this over the bank holiday weekend and it's heavy. It features severe alcohol abuse, graphic depictions of self-harm and of course there's all the child murder. It's not an easy watch. I struggled but I couldn't stop. The show makes you sick with dread. Its visceral use of incredible music dances you through a drunken haze of PTSD trauma. Definitely a show that makes you want to reach for either a drink or its Spotify playlist afterwards. Amy Adams plays a broken, sick product of an abusive childhood, so carries the laundry list of reasons to drink. Like True Detective, it uses a whodunit to reflect on its broken adults, and Amy Adams absolutely smashes it. But major props need to be given to Patricia Clarkson, who plays the warped narcissist mother Adora, and to Eliza Skenlon as rebellious teenager Amma. Their performances deserve just as much recognition in this sickening murder mystery, because good god do I hate Clarkson's character Joffrey ain't got shit on this bitch! Ah! This show is a murder mystery, but it laces its tension with horror that eats at you, just under the skin. If The Handmaid's Tale reflected the book and just did one season for the story, it would be perfect. Sharp Objects is the closest thing to that because another season of this show would be taxing. Though if I have one complaint, it's the ending. It leaves the greatest revelation to the very last second and beyond into the post credit scene, right at the final 8th hour. It's a twist that does leave you with all the answers, but it's in serious need of an epilogue for the characters involved. Just an extra 15 minutes, that's all I need. Though that's a minor issue, which in no way ruins the lasting effects this show intends to leave you with. I've not read the novel by Gillian Flynn, but this is an incredible adaptation unsurprisingly created by the brilliant Marty Noxon, who wrote and was an exec producer on Buffy by the way, and also of course director of Big Little Lies, John Mark Valley. I probably butchered that name. It's bloody brilliant. Definitely the best show I've seen this year so far, but it comes with some trigger warnings. If you can stomach it, watch it. I can't recommend it enough. Gold Leaf.